Jan, many congratulations. Uh, a terrific away win for your team today. What did you make of the, the performance? Thank you. Um, I'm delighted with the win. Uh, the full performance was great. Some of the football we played in the first half was on a very high level. We knew that uh, Norwich is, of course, a difficult place at the moment. Still had very good team, very good players. But we were on the front foot immediately to make it difficult for them. And on the ball, uh, we created chances, scoring great goals. Could probably have been leading 4 0 but half time. Second half, we started well. Uh, scored immediately, a well worked goal. And, and then, of course, uh, after that, we were in control. But then we got the red card. Uh, and then we were defending like Lions and uh, with a great team spirit defending the box. Uh, third away win in a short while in the league. Uh, so that's really positive for this young team with all the ups and downs. Yeah, it's a really good way of describing it. Defending like Lions, you had to do that after the, the red card. How pleasing is that you got that tenacity and that resolute way about you to dig in and, and hold that lead? Nah, yeah, very good. When you can defend like that against a very good team, uh, then the boys are doing a lot of good things. We shouldn't forget in the last six games in the league, we only conceded four goals. So we are defending uh, as a unit with a great spirit. And at the same time, we are playing some great stuff on the ball. Yeah, you had to reshuffle defensively. Joe Rankin Costello came off. How is he? Doesn't look great. But we, we need to, I think he will have a scan tomorrow, but doesn't look great. And especially not with, of course, Joe's history regarding uh, hamstring, especially when he was at the academy. Uh, he had a lot. Hopefully, uh, we'll keep our finger crossed, but doesn't look great at the moment. Yeah, you're without Hayden Carter as well. Scott Wharton is obviously going to set a, a ban now. How much of a headache is that, given the lack of numbers in that position? Yeah, and, and, and Harry Pickering going for left back to a central defender. Uh, I think he coped well with the situation. If, of course, not the best situation. We all know that uh, we're cutting the budget in the summer. Uh, there was difficult to get players in. Two players left the building, that position, Ayala and Daniel Ayala and Ashley Phillips, and we only got James Hill in. Uh, by the way, he's playing excellent. He's really playing good football uh, and a really leader there. Uh, but we need to cope with it. Uh, that's probably also why our CEO uh, didn't put the biggest expectations out there. Yeah, it, it's, in terms of the, the players you have got at your disposal, is it kind of force your hand tactically going forward when you, you have so, so limited numbers? Nah, at the moment I'm enjoying the win. Uh, I think I have plenty of time to think about Preston in the way back to, to, to Blackburn because it's a quite a journey on the coach. Uh, but, uh, but let's wait and see what will happen next week. Yeah, some real positives today. Sam Smolix is now the, the joint top scorer in the championship. How pleasing is it when you, you coach a player and you see them go up more levels? Nah, I think, I think Sammy's uh, development has been really, really good. We know that he can score goals. Uh, we know that he can play with few touches and he always works for the team extremely hard. Uh, but in the end, you also want a result, and the result could be goals. And he's scoring a lot of goals as well. Uh, I'm always trying to push Sammy as well, but he's a, he's a great lad and also great for the dressing room. There's always a, a good spirit around Sammy. Yeah, is, the, is the armband, has that helped him? Is that something that he's, he's embraced? Um, I don't know if it helped him, uh, but I think I think he, he, he deserved to be one of the senior players. The oldest player I have is 28 and he's one of the oldest players uh, and he's one of the senior, but he's also performing like a senior and that's very nice to see. Yeah, and just finally from me, it's a cracking game on Friday night to come back to you. You know you've not had much time on the training ground recently because of all the travelling you've done. You've got <coughs> almost a, a, a kind of free week going into that Friday night game against North End at Eddie Wood. It's going to be a, a special night, I guess. Yeah, uh, tomorrow those players who didn't play will play a, a game, 60 minutes internal game, so we can keep them up to speed and, and then we have time to work on, 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 on Preston, the, the local derby. But uh, the boys should enjoy the day now, they've done an excellent job, uh, they did well against Chelsea uh, and now they did really well against Norwich. Jan, what, what do you think has been the big thing for Sam this year that, that seen him kick on? It, it seems like particularly with his finishing when he's going one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, that, that seems to have been a big improvement on last year. I, first of all, he played with confidence. And, and, and in the beginning, when he came to the club, it was, of course, new everything, new manager, new way of playing. It takes time. I still remember I put him to the 21s, I think, against West Ham in London uh, the first half a year. Uh, and after after that, I think actually he's becoming better and better. Uh, he ended last season really well, and he started this season on fire.
How pleased were you with the start? Because obviously we knew Norwich not in the best form, so really important for Rovers coming in to make a fast start, try and turn that crowd against them, and 2 0 up in 15 minutes took both your chances. Yeah, and, and played some great stuff as well. Uh, really stick to our principle. One or two touches and those movement where we control the, the space. So that was really good. But we also front footed, defended with a high intensity and make it difficult for them. So all the compliments to all the players that done really well. Did you think the Scott Water challenge was a red card? I only saw it from behind. Of that angle, he actually touched the ball. Uh, so uh, then it's a little bit soft. I don't. I don't I thought England was the only country in the whole world who was not becoming soft. Uh, but yeah, let's wait and see what we would do with that. We have plenty of time to talk about it in, in the coach back to Blackburn, if he should appeal it. Disappointing for Scott as well, considering that he's not played a lot of football, and it'd be good for him to have a run, obviously. So if he is banned, that, that's a bit disappointing for him as well. For sure, uh, for sure. I think uh, Scott came in from the bench against Chelsea as well, took care of him. He played well uh, in the game before. Yeah, it was his first start in a while in the, in the league. And so disappointed for Scott, of course, but he was very happy for the for his teammates in the dressing room after the game. Yeah, you probably could have done with resting a few legs in that last 40 minutes when you were 3-0 up. Probably the last thing you needed, wasn't it, the red card? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about resting players, uh, needed to, to play a little bit longer, maybe around the 70 minutes. Uh, but they were sticking in there, they were fighting for rowers. And by the way, all the fans that travelled 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and stood behind the team. So hopefully they'll have a safe and an enjoyable journey back. And Harry did pretty well at centre-back when he moved over as well, didn't he? He, he? he obviously not got a lot of options in that position at the moment, so he, he might need to come in and, and play there. Yeah, you're totally right. Uh, I don't have a lot of options. Let's wait and see, but I thought he, he coped with the, with the position quite well. And, and Joe, sorry, is that a hamstring issue that he's got? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any more, guys? No. Nope. Okay, thank you.